Street Fighter back here in the GM Performance Parts booth. I'm here with Tom Bates, and we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the LSX head. And we've got one of the prototype mock-up ones here. We just did another video a minute ago on the uh, LSX 454 that had these the actual heads on it. The actual heads. But you know, a question a lot of people have is what is an LSX head versus a LS7 head? What's the difference? So if you could just step through. Step through some of the differences on Both it. Both heads are very similar. The big, the big difference between the two of them is we have a 5 8 thick deck on this cylinder head versus the production head is, is more along the lines of, uh, say, 3 8 of an inch thick. So where am I? I'm seeing that here in terms of this thickness? Yes. In fa yeah, this thickness right here. Basically, it's really hard to see it. You have to see it in the water jacketing itself. Right. So the material that's up here in this deck right here, uh -huh. when you have a power power adder application like nitrous turbo or a blower, what happens is this area has a tendency to deflect in a production production head and you have water seep. So what we did is we made that thicker in that area for those boosted applications. And then on top of that, we added the additional six bolts, which you don't have here. Right. Yes. Production head has a cavity yep. and nothing on the outside. And on these heads, we have the extra bolt hole in here underneath the intake port and then one on the exterior. Because again, between these two holes here and these two holes here, we blow the gaskets at the 12 o'clock and the 6 o'clock position. That's, and that's where you put? That's where I put the extra head bolts to, for better clamping. So at what horsepower range do I need this? Do, would I want to go with this versus, assuming I have the LSX block, otherwise I don't benefit from that, right? Without the LSX block, you don't benefit from the extra head bolt holes, but you do benefit from the thicker deck. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, and you're going to start seeing issues when you start getting into the boosted applications. You know, thousand once, horsepower. A thousand horsepower. Uh, actually, a little bit less. I mean, if your tune is not perfect, that's when you really start having problems in a hurry. That's when you you lose your gas. If you get a little, you little bit of water. detonation, you mean? A little bit of detonation. This kind of gives you protection from that. Correct. One of the issues that we have with the production LS7 cylinder head is the spring pockets are, are made for an inch and a quarter diameter valve spring. And what a lot of people want to do when you start putting a big camshaft in, they want to put a bigger valve spring. Sure. When you go ahead and you punch that hole open, what happens is you also punch a hole open into the water jacket and now you have a leaker. Uh. One of the things that we fixed with the new casting, as you can see here in the prototype, is we open up that pocket. We oh take, yeah, it's we, way bigger. It's way bigger. We can put a 1.55 diameter valve spring in there without any, any issues whatsoever. It looks like there's also almost a bit of a, uh, a seam to hold the spring in place. Is that what that's for? I mean, in terms of there? Because here I don't have it. Uh, correct. Yeah, we added material all the way around the guide to help fully support the valve spring when yeah. you go to a bigger, bigger one, um, both for the intake side and also on the exhaust side. What about anything else? Are any of the any of the runners any different? I mean, any of the intake ports different? Well, as you can see on this cylinder head here, the production LS7 is fully CNC ported. The intake ports, the exhaust ports, and the combustion chambers are fully CNC ported. What that does is that costs a lot of money to the end consumer. So what we've done with the new cylinder head is we've taken that CNC port, we have some precision tooling, and what we've got is the cast version of the LS7 port. So you get the flow numbers of the CNC with an as-cast port. That also gives you room. To gives you room. As, as a consumer, you now have the capability of taking the heads out, having them CNC ported or hand ported by whomever your, your favorite porter is. Gotcha. And in addition to making this as cast, we put extra material all the way around it so that people can do more porting. What do you, what, what's the highest flow number you've heard of on these heads ported? I, I've, I've heard numbers. Without, without, without I mean, they actually make, with, while maintaining some semblance of velocity. Um, I've, just, I've heard you know, numbers up upwards of almost 400 CFM. Really? Yes. Now, uh, how, how, how that translates to the velocity, uh, yeah. I'm not quite sure. You know, without without just taking a uh, you know a uh, oil oil rig drill and just you know jamming it straight yes. through it. So yeah. yeah. So next thing we want to do is I want to look at the difference between the C5R head and the um, what was that the LSX DR? DR head. DR head. Yes. Let's swing over and take a look at that. Okay, so this is the LSX DR head. This is the C5R head, which has been around for quite a long time. Right. Okay, so, and this is just a prototype head. That is a prototype, correct. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the differences. Okay. This original C5R head was the racing head of the day, which yeah. was used uh, in the C5R racing program. And with the C5R block. And with the C5R block, right. correct, correct. And this was an originally intended for small cubic inch applications. And when people wanted to start building bigger and bigger cubic inch engines, more and more power, we yeah. found that there's a huge need for a big cylinder head for drag racing applications. So what we've done is we've implemented the LSX six bolt 
bolt pattern on it. Yep. We revise the combustion chamber from the little tiny puny one that's in the C5R, and this will accommodate a bigger engine a little bit better. Puny is relative. Puny is relative. <laughs> um, if you take a turn to the intake side, you'll notice that the intake port, this is a peanut port intended for CNC porting, but what we did is we took that port, we raised it 10 millimeters, and then we opened it all up, raised the rails. Raised it in this way. We moved it in that direction. We raised it from the floor an extra 10 millimeters. And then we took the bolt pattern, which was, again, rather puny, and put a nice big bolt pattern on there so that there's a lot of material now that for the, for the cast manifolds and for the sheet metal manifolds, again, for the boosted applications. On the top side of things, we went ahead and again, took the valve spring pockets and we made them even bigger yet, put more meat around them yep. and readjusted everything. We did move the, uh, the valve spacing slightly to accommodate a larger bore. Most of the people that are doing serious drag racing, they're putting in a big bore. They're gonna be at least, yeah, they're gonna be at least a 400 cube, guys. Absolutely. So is this insane to run in the street? I mean, in terms of, is it, gonna, is it not gonna make a lot of low end torque? Is it not gonna have great velocity? Is it just an all out, I'm going for 2000 horsepower range head? It would be an extreme cylinder head for street use. The cross-sectional area, though, on this head is actually smaller than an LS7, but has better flow numbers than an LS7, and that's due to the placement of the port, uh, with it being raised in a really, really nice short turn so radius. So why not just have a super efficient head, put a, uh, put a relatively mild cam in it, if it's, if it's got good characteristics, why not use this on the street? Well, one of the problems with this cylinder head, if you want to call it a problem, is the cost. You're going to have to have gentle rocker arms on it. You're going to have custom linked valves and valve A lot springs. of guys in the street do, you know. The more extreme, the more yeah, extreme right. guys. This will take really top end parts is what it takes, which is, uh, again, and, and one of the challenges for the, for the guys on the street is the exhaust pattern on this is totally different than the production. Everybody today, as far as a header manufacturer, has a standard LS bolt pattern. So this is the same as LS1 through LS7 through every, everything else? Absolutely. Not, not different? Not here. Okay, not well here. There's, your, there's your deal breaker. There's your deal breaker. Yeah, okay. This does require custom headers because uh, it has a custom flange pattern. And this is the only one the other LSX head is standard, like this. The other, the other three cylinder heads that we're coming out with will have this pattern on it. This cylinder head, which is a DR head, and the, the, the baby brother, I'll call it, is called a CT head, which is intended more for like a, a sprint car application. For CT, circle track? Circle track for CT, that's okay. right. Has down nozzle provisions for running alcohol. It goes right into the intake port. That's, uh, that's a CT head. Gotcha. Tom, awesome info. Thank you very Thank much. You.